This morning's message is um, coming from Joshua 7, 1. And I've preached on this topic many, many times. The sermon turns out to be a little bit different, but I've preached on it many times. It's about Achan sin. And everybody who knows the Bible, they know about Achan sin. Joshua 7, 1. But the Israelites acted unfaithfully in regard to the devoted thing. Achan, son of Carmi, the son of Zimri, and the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took some of them, so the Lord's anger burned against them, the devoted things. They took some of them, so the Lord's anger burned against Israel. And I titled this, The Power of Agreement. God's people, and we, we talked about this last week, God's people were ready to go into the promised land. And the reason why we talk about this all the time is because there are a lot of instances, a lot of things happened before they went into the promised land. So there's a lot of Bible stories that need to, to be told. So this is one of the times they're getting ready to go into the promised land, the land that God had given them, but they had specific instructions about what to do to claim it. These instructions came from the Lord. The Lord said, march around the city with all the armed men once a day for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, trumpets, have all the people give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the people will go up, every man straight in. All the people did just what Joshua told them to do. God tests our faithfulness yes. and our sincerity by sometimes giving us ridiculous things to do. If you love me, keep my commandments, the Lord says. And he can tell if we love him or not. He knows when we're serious about living a holy life. So all the people were in agreement to do what the Lord had commanded. And when they heard the priest sound the trumpet, they all shouted together, and all the walls of Jericho came tumbling down. Yes. They didn't have to shoot a gun, pull out a sword, or throw a blow. God fought for them. When everyone agrees to follow the Lord, great things happen. Yes, Lord. And not only in Jericho. When a family decides that God is going to be the leader of their lives, bills get paid. Children act Amen. right. Good jobs are had. Amen. Money is always in the bank. This is true. You never have to borrow and are always able to give to those in need. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> there was one other commandment that needed to be followed. The city of Jericho and all that was in it were to be devoted to the Lord. This commandment still stands. We just don't follow it. <laughs> Jericho was the first city conquered. It was the first fruit. Mm -hmm. The first of everything we get should go to the Lord. Yeah. The first of everything. Amen. Everything. Amen. There's some people, they tithe. You, you loan them money. <laughs> they give it back. They tithe. Amen. They tithe off their birthday money. Yes, Some people think that the birthday money don't belong to nobody. It's the, my birthday money. Everything. But everything, the first of everything, yes. should go to the Lord. Amen. In the principle of tithing, 10% of everything goes to the Lord first. Yes. And it, sometimes we play around with the money. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm, I know I owe it. I know I owe it, but I'm going to do this because it's Saturday. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, give somebody 
this, you know, because they want to go to the movies or something like that. Give it first. Amen. It is first. Amen. We live off the 90%. Yeah. 90% is a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. We only give 10 to the Lord unless your heart is different. Because yes, now, and the Jehovah's Witnesses always tell you, we don't preach from, what is that one? Um, Malachi. Malachi. We don't, pre we don't preach because it's about the heart now. Uh -huh. It is about the heart. So it's no longer tithe. You don't even use that word. People get mad at you talk about tithing. Mm -hmm. um, you, don't, you don't use that anymore. It's about the heart. So it should be more than tithing, uh -huh. more than 10%. Uh -huh. But I mean, you got to have a starting point. Right. We start at 10%, mm -hmm. not five, <laughs> not four and a half. Right. We Girl. start at 10%, right. and then we yes. go to the heart. Yes. I know this is difficult to wrap your mind around when you've got more bills than you got money, because mm -hmm. I know that's true. But if you ask God to give you a heart for giving, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. your money starts to grow That's true. in That's your true. bank account. That's true. That's true. It starts to grow and grow and grow. Amen. That's true. Because when I think about my salary, I think I told you all this story before, but I love to tell it. When I think about my <laughs> when I think about my salary, and I had kids, I had a house. I never thought in a million years I would have one. I had a house and I had a new car. Mm -hmm. And my account did not. It used to do that before I started. <laughs> you know, you go and the bank done took this. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm. No more. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Mm. Desire is a characteristic God loves to see in us. When he sees it, he will open the floodgates of heaven for us. Amen. Moses had desire. He didn't speak well, so he didn't think he should be the one to speak to Pharaoh. But Moses was willing. Mary had desire. She didn't know how she was going to convince Joseph that she had not been with a man. But Mary was willing to try. Everything in Jericho was to be devoted to the Lord. But keep away from the devoted things so that you will not bring about your own destruction by taking any of them. Otherwise, you will make the camp of Israel liable to destruction and bring trouble on it. All the silver and gold and the articles of bronze and iron are sacred to the Lord and must go into his treasury. Now it seemed like everyone was in agreement. No one stepped forward to say that they didn't think that this was the right course of action. The seventh time around when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the people, shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The walls of Jericho came tumbling down. They devoted the city to the Lord and destroyed with the sword every living thing in it, except Rahab the prostitute and her family. You know, we had a whole sermon on that. Rahab the prostitute, her house was in the rock of the Jericho wall. And the Jericho wall came tumbling down, but that house remained. Amen, yes. Because we yes. serve a God who, when you when you tell him you're going to do something and you do it, he comes through like, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. God's people conquered the city of Jericho. Uh, the, God's people conquered the city of Jericho only because the Lord was with them. Jericho depended on its wall, depended on its walls, and the Israelites depended on God. The Bible says, so the Lord was with Joshua and his fame spread throughout the land. It would be nice if that this were the end of the story. But our scripture begins with the word, but. But the Israelites acted unfaithfully in regard to the devoted things. 
anytime the word um, but appears, something happened before yes. that that has impact on what is coming next. Mm -hmm. But the word but usually sounds an alarm in your head that what's coming is something that you don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. You ask your parents, could you go to somebody's house? Their response is yes, you can go, but, but mm -hmm. be back at 11. Mm -hmm. It's time to take the city of AI. Mm -hmm. Joshua sent spies to see what they were up against. The spies returned with a good report. They even tell Joshua it didn't need, um, he didn't need to send the entire army. We can take them no problem. But little AI whipped them. The Bible says the hearts of the people melted and became like water. Mm. Fear. When God gives us a commandment and tells us what will happen, if we don't follow it, trouble will fall on us. God's word is truth. He never lies. What he says will be, will be. Yes. Joshua tears his clothes in grief and falls face down before the ark of the Lord. He stays there until evening. What happened, Lord? Why did you bring us here just to destroy us? And the Lord says, stand up. Mm -hmm. yeah. he don't want <laughs> what are you doing on your face? Mm -hmm. Israel has sinned. They have violated my covenant, which I commanded them to keep. They have taken some of the devoted things. They have stolen. They have lied. They have put them with their own possessions. I will not be with you anymore unless you destroy whatever among you mm. is devoted to destruction. Amen. God does not play. Wasn't that last week's message? God is tired of playing. Mm -hmm. When we do not follow God's commandments, we are devoted to destruction. Some people don't follow God's commandments. Not because we haven't been told. We just don't think they are important. Mm -hmm. God told Joshua to have the people consecrate themselves. Every tribe, clan, family, and individual was examined. Yeah. When the tribe of Judah was examined, Achan confesses. He had taken a beautiful robe from Babylonia, 200 shekels of silver, a wedge of gold, just things. Achan took those things and mixed them in with his holy things. I believe Achan was truly sorry and grieved severely for what he had done. But confession couldn't help Achan. Mm. That's why we need to be so thankful for Jesus. Yes. Yes. God was specific and he is specific today. If you're going to serve God, then serve God. If you found something that you think is better, serve that. Amen. But don't try to mix the two, two together. together. Mm -hmm. Blessing and cursing from the same mouth. Mm -hmm. That should not be. That's from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Write that on your mirror. Sin is contagious. It will infect your entire household. Yes. Rahab the prostitute who did not grow up with God had more faith than Achan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm just going in with Hebrews 11.31. By faith, the prostitute Rahab, because she welcomed the spies, was not killed with those who were disobedient. And that's what it all boils down to. Are you going to follow God? Are you going to follow what it says on TV, on Facebook, and all that other stuff we listen to? We can't do that. We have to obedient, be obedient to the one who saved us, who loved us, who cares about us and not everything else. Amen. I'm still oh.